Okay, so now that you've updated the first three tabs, it's time to start adding content. And to do that, you're going to select the Content Assignments tab. And then once in this content area, you really need to start thinking about how you want to organize your content first. So um, is it best to organize it by topic or maybe chapter? Some people use units or possibly a week, a uh, week by week. But once you have that figured out, you have somewhat of an outline for your course, then it's time to set up your folders. So to do that, you're going to choose your Build Content menu and then select Content Folder. You're going to name your content folder and then you're going to add a description in this text editor box. Um, you need to add a description here to give this folder some sort of context for your students so that they'll know what they're supposed to do with this folder. So for instance, I might add um, please use folder link above to access this week's assignments. Then you'll scroll down, you'll set up your standard options, and then select Submit. So then you can see how you could would just continue to build your folders. But then once you have all your folders set up, you need to add content within the folder. So to do that, you actually select the folder link, you click there, and then you have your options um, to add different types of content. So when you select the build content menu, you'll see that you have lots of options. I'm only really going to focus on two for this tutorial, the item and the web link. Those are two of the most commonly used and in my opinion they are um, two of the most user friendly. So to get started you would select item Um, and just like the content folder, you would give it a name. You would give a description here, um, letting them know what what um, they're supposed to do, what type of content this is. You have lots of options. You can add um, an attachment. So if you scroll down, you could browse your computer and add a, an attachment such as a maybe a handout, a document, something that you want them to complete or something that you want them to read. You can add images and um, embed videos. You can add hyperlinks. You can add bullets or lists. Um, you can pretty much use this content editor to add any type of content to this one item. And then once you've done that, you scroll down just like with the folder, you set up your standard options and then click Submit. Um, now that's just one type of, uh, one way to add content. Another may be um, a web link. So to do, this, to do that, you go to the same Build Content menu. You would choose Web Link. You give it a name. And then you go to um, this way. I usually have multiple tabs open, so I can just kind of toggle back and forth. So I will have um, YouTube open, for instance, if there was a YouTube video that I wanted them to watch. I would have YouTube open in another tab. I would just copy and paste that URL. And then, again, in this um, text box, I would type a description here to give them context, tell them what to do with this. It might be that you um, tell them to use the web link above to access the video tutorial. Wow, spelling is an issue here today. Um, but you get the idea and you can use some of the same features as an item. You can add an image here. You can use hyperlinks, um, text features, te change your text font color. Be careful with your colors though. You do want them to be, you know, have enough contrast. You can use the highlighter. So um, all of those features are available just like they were in the item. You would scroll down. You could add an attachment here. 
and then you would set up your options as needed and then select submit. So what students would do here would be to click on this web link and it would take them to the video. Um, it doesn't have to be a video, it can be a web page. So for instance, um, I could name this and this could be um, a page that I want them to read. So I would copy that URL, Oops. go back to our um, course, paste the URL, provide a description here, set your um, options down here as needed, and then select Submit. So your, your web link can be um, a link to any page or video. So you can see how you would just continue to build your content. Um, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over how to create assessments, such as a test and an assignment. Um, we're going to go into a lot more detail, or I'm going to provide some videos for you that go into much more detail. But I did want you to know that uh, the main types of content that you will be adding to these folders are either an item, a web link, or you're going to create um, assessments such as tests or assignments. So that's it for this portion. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And, um, and that's it. Thanks, everybody.